everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land, please. The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Ignore that. I was trying to do a run with Judas to get to Delirium before the NLSS. It didn't even come close. It was the slowest Judas run I've ever seen in my life. That run is lost to the ether. It wasn't bad. It was just slow. CTPM VYGE. Now we got all the time in the world. What we do have is no numbers. Right, Ruka? I don't like a no number seed. I like the meta of you get a little alpha and a little numeric if possible. I like to have multiple data types in there. Excuse me, sir. Uh, may I ask you a question? What happened to our eyes? I recognize we got sulfuric tears, but this is ridiculous. The good news is, if we find a tinted rock, we actually do not need any bombs. And in fact, it's weird how, like, normally I'd be like, ah, there's a poop, whatever. But because the poop was hidden by rocks, I was like, I must have this poop. This poop belongs to me. Now... We gotta do Judas Delirium. We could also do some Keeper runs in the future. We gotta do the Lost as well. I know everyone's, they're memeing it up. They think they're so hilarious. NL, did you forget about the Lost? Answer, actually yes, for like a little while at least. <laughs> but unlike the Keeper, the Keeper I like to, I'm glad I unlocked him early, I should say. Because I enjoy mixing it up. I don't want to do Keeper runs, you know, all day, every day. But the Lost, if the game only included the Lost as a character, I'd still play it. So I don't mind if we end up having to do, like, a month of Lost runs. Oh, that's probably a little unrealistic. I don't mind having to do a week of Lost runs, let's say, in order to make something uh, happen with that character. Doesn't really bother me. It's a fun time. I'm begging you. I'm just begging for one penny, then I'll leave. That's it. Just one single penny. I will evacuate the premises. Does not have to be the quarter. Does not have to be swallowed penny. There you go. Thank you for your two pennies. I see you, cat. Oh, two more pennies. You're begging for a pet, and you know what? You're gonna get one. There you go. Who's a good boy? He's usually... I mean, he's kind of... He's ill-behaved sometimes, but for the most part, I mean, he's a cat. He's got a brain the size of a freaking hazelnut, so... You know, it's not... Like he means to do bad things. Sometimes he terrorizes Tomo at night and we gotta go, hey, stop that, pick him up by the scruff of his neck. It's kind of the law of the jungle, though. You're taking an animal into your home and you're saying, hey, why don't you behave like a civil human being? It's tough, right? Tomo manages to do it, but Tomo just kind of like hangs out anyway, so. Um, HP? Yeah, okay, HP. This is a pretty good situation to be in. How do we manifest a delirium run? Very simply, we want to uh, make sure... I'll play it twice. I like to live dangerously. Um, we want to make sure that we can get to the hush fight, which means we need to have a relatively decent amount of damage if we're going to have any realistic shot at that. Uh, alternatively, we could just get super lucky. And uh, I was going to say there are six of these guys. We could get super lucky and just make it. You know, the, the, the Delirium access can just exist, but then we've got to be strong enough to kill Delirium, which, you know, is kind of a prerequisite regardless. 99 pyro bombs go by. Okay, this is a scary room, because a single bomb could murder me. You have been destroyed, sir. Might as well use a bomb, because we have 99. See if the secret room's up there. It was not, but we're still at 99 bombs, so who cares? I, to be honest, am actually pretty happy to have sulfuric tears here. Wonderful, more bombs. M the more the merrier, that's what they always say. Do you think if you had a club for people who are fans of the Mary Tyler Moore show, every meeting you would say the more the merrier? The... It's a double pun. I didn't even intend it, but you get it? Because the, the more the merrier, but also merrier because of Mary Tyler. I can't believe I dodged that, dude. That was outrageous. Now, I got 99 bombs, so, you know, first off, the tower card is useless. But secondly, don't exactly need to uh, make much of an effort to use our sulfuric tears. But we're still going to. 15 cents? Yeah, 16 cents. Even better. Uh, and a 3 cent spirit heart. Great position. Thank you. Very much appreciated. With one spirit heart, it is a little scary to consider going for the uh, deal with the devil here. Let's just say the deal with the devil will have to be pretty good. 
And I, I, my brain is broken, y'all. And you're like, I know, but I'm like, no, no, it's, it's broken from an Isaac context, not from the other context. We'll let a doctor solve that. I literally, subconscious, well, not subconsciously, but I didn't utter it. Was like, you know what? Let's use the tower card to kill this guy quickly. We have 97 bombs. Why would I ever think that that's the first step? <laughs> Let's take that. No, nah, we should take it now. I was going to say maybe it'll gate access to a boss trap room, but it's kind of unnecessary because we have a blood bank anyway. Um, why would we ever use the tower card that throws bombs out like randomly when we could just use not the tower card? And destroy the boss easily without it putting like a single dent into our amount of HP to begin with. Okay, that is a lovely room. Might just dump the tower card here. Unless the other card is also the tower. <laughs> Wooden cross, lovely. High priestess, much better. Please? Thank you. So we're gonna come up here, please. Again, we should just be using bombs, if only to save time at this point. I want blood bag. I might consider IV bag. Cat, you can't stay there. There's a little box with your name on it over there. Excuse me. Just gonna feel excuse me. I'm just trying to push this. There we go. That was fast. We should go back for the HP, but we shouldn't spend forever trying to make this happen. Because, you know, in the end, we, uh, I mean, in the end, it doesn't really matter. But in the end, we also have a, uh, a time limit. You know, we want to make sure that we're down to that hush fight conceivably. we got to be strong enough to fight hush, I guess, is the other thing I didn't even mention. But, okay, a lot of money. You got anything for me? HP is good. Actually, Bloody Penny is pretty sweet. Uh, immediately paid out, and I appreciate that. Thank you. And it allowed us to get the blood bag. That's pretty lucky. Now we're just going to bounce. But, dude, that was sick. Uh, so, yeah, forget the High Priestess card. I know it's good, I know, but I don't want to go back. I don't know why I turned into Mark Ruffalo. I don't want to go back. Catacombs 1. 6 minutes and 30 seconds. With a damage upgrade as Judas, you know what would probably be a really, really good way to make sure that we have the best chance possible to make it to the Hush fight? If you're saying, use Book of Belial on rooms other than the boss room, you're a genius. Finally, <laughs> someone's come up with the optimal strategy that I can implement here. Uh, health down. Honestly... In my, in my Isaac age here, my advanced Isaac age, I've come to appreciate the speed up from Blood Bag as much as the HP up. The other thing is, I still appreciate the HP up from Blood Bag. If we didn't have it, our HP would just be lower now as, a regard, or as an effect of getting the, uh, the health down pill regardless. So, I'm not really disappointed too much with the health down. As long as it doesn't, like, pop the most recent item off the stack completely, we still got the speed upgrade. It's going to save me a decent amount of HP long-term. HP long-term. Great name for, like, a wealthy American industrialist. So, at some point, you got to say, we don't really need 20 different ways to break uh, blocks. But, I guess the good thing is, we still have the ability to use Samson's Chain, not so much as an orbital, but as a, uh, as a way... Oh, I'm an idiot. As a way to block shots from coming in. So if we, like, pop Samson's chain right there, he pops up, it blocks the shot. Hard to do it against bosses that are a little less predictable than that, but still, that's pretty good. PJ's is just a little value add right now. Second secret room, please? Second secret room, please? No? A little surprised. I don't think creep shots are good enough for us here. It's something a little better. And Infestation 2 is like... Low-key, probably one of the top 20 items in the game. One of the few capable of basically taking your run from okay to victorious all by its lonesome. So thank you very much. Ruka, you decided to leave the room now. Can't help but feel you could have saved us a little time if you just recognized that impulse a little earlier. But again, goodbye. Okay. So far, so good. This run's got it going on. 
We absolutely want to go to the shop. What I could use is actually like the ability to fly. I ain't got wings. Easy. I'll open red chests. I'll open golden chests. I'll open stone chests. I'm just not going to open those chests. It's like an I would do anything for love sort of situation. I won't do that. Did we ever figure out what Meatloaf is talking about in that song? People online seem to be convinced that it's something to do with the butt. I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. I don't know, but the song is so dramatic. For it to be about some kind of act of coitus just doesn't seem... Like, it's got too much gravitas for that, doesn't it? I would do anything for love, anything you could dream of, but I just won't. It sounds like this is the reaction you'd have if, like, your spouse asked you to rob a bank. I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. Oh, good one. Just walk on the spikes again. While telling a joke that existed in stand-up comedy in, like, the year 1993 or something. Maybe it was like... I don't know. I can't think of a good answer, to be honest. It, it almost has to be a crime for me to understand the song. And I mean a real crime. Not one of those like, well, in Alabama it's illegal to drive a horse down Main Street at 12 p.m. on a Tuesday. You know, that kind of like fake law trash that exists exclusively for BuzzFeed articles. I hate this enemy. These enemies, I should say. They make me so angry. Because I know there's like, um, you know, Alanis Moore said, Would she go down on you in a theater? She admitted later she was talking about Dave Coulier from Full House. Guess she gave him a, a little oral attention during a movie. Which, first off, what are you doing? You know? People take their kids to the movies. You're going there, you're watching Fern Gully and giving some action. I don't respect it, Alanis, although I respect you as a Canadian pop princess. But then, there's also like, You're So Vain. I think they eventually said who that song was about. Meatloaf, it's been 25 years since I Would Do Anything For Love has come out. You gotta tell people what anything, what you wouldn't do in this case. It's like illegal not to. We're on sealing records related to the JFK assassination. Explain to us what you won't do for love. Pretty soon the Spice Girls are also going to have to explain what a Zigga Zigga Ah means as well. It's just, it's part of the... If you're going to be in the business of singing, you got to answer to your crimes, okay? It's the most important job on planet Earth. We do still need to go to our shop. I'm just very eager to hopefully get a deal with the devil. Look at this. You genius. What? How did you sneak those shots past my barricade? No deal. It's bad luck. That's good luck. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm content with this. Very much so. More money. What a weird balance of power we've got here. Because, like... I don't really need money... But we also lose nothing by blowing up that statue, so we should go for it. It's kind of open. Secret room? Secret room? Secret room, let's go. Joker card, maybe? Uh, it could be better. It could be better than the Joker card, I mean, depending on what these are. Awaz rune. That's uh, free boss rush access. Maybe black market or crawl space if we get lucky. Awaz! How many Awaz are you going to give me here? Got me on my knees, Awaz. Another Ansus. We have Terraclaw, so that was Ansus and Degas. This one is Yera and Algis, which means we have more Awaz runes. And none of them gave us access to a crawl space. Not upset. Not upset. Narrator. He was upset. No, I'm only upset because we've done our. We've done our part to take this run to the next level so far. Got a great setup, and I thank the game for that. We're just trying to catch extra breaks, which is selfish of me. But we caught a lot of breaks so far. Can't we? What's a couple more, right? Check. Please. No. 
It's good. Maybe we want to get rid of uh, Book of Belial. Try to get something a little bit more pertinent for our run. I'm trying to think of what could actually work in that spot, though. Like, Book of Belial's doing a good job. And I'm never going to shy away from having... Uh... Oh, careful. Careful. Ned. Uh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Goathead. Probably guarantees us the win right there. But I was going to say, wouldn't shy away from something that's a little bit more relevant in rooms that are not that difficult. Book of Belial is only useful for us, really, on rooms that are uh, kind of tough to begin with. The only rooms we can really justify its existence on. Jar of Flies is amazing. I will take that. And you know what? To keep myself honest here, let's donate a little bit more money as well. That donation machine does have to get up there. 753. Not mad. You know what? I'm going to be a little silly. I'm going to use AWAS right here. Just to make it faster for us to move along. We don't need to skip boss rush. It's plausible that we could do boss rush and still make it to the uh, hush fight. Maybe not too likely, but but I would suggest plausible. Because really, uh, Infestation 2 combined with Jar of Flies are going to speed us up way more and way more consistently than Book of Belial ever could. We still got to be a little faster. Wait a minute, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I spent all that time patting myself on the back. I was like, good decision. Good decision, me. And then I realized... Uh, I'm a moron because we just skipped a deal with the devil by not walking back to the the boss fight there. Okay, my, my mistake. You know what? I was going to say it's a learning process, but really the process of learning, if you're watching these Isaac videos, is just learning that I forget sometimes. <laughs> I try. I got lots of things on the brain, you know. There's always a background process that's distracting me. Right now, it's like, what does Nelly say in the Ride With Me song? If you want to go and take a ride with me and something something in the back of my limousine, oh, why do I feel this way? I don't know what it means. I genuinely think, like, Rap Genius is the best site on the internet. Because I don't... I, I like rap music, or hip-hop, as the youngsters call it. Trap, etc., etc. Um... I like I like to get bad and bougie with it. I like to get jiggy with it. I can I can play the whole spectrum, you know. I might actually have lost some brain cells based on the fact that I took damage deliberately there. Um, but I I never know what people are saying in rap songs. I always I need a translator, and Rap Genius is essentially Google Translate. For rap music. I, I very much appreciate it. I know it's not called Rap Genius. It's not 2008 anymore, Dad. It's just called Genius. I get it, okay? The only lyric I've ever understood... ...in rap music is in, um... Gone by Kanye West from the 2004 album Late Registration. Where he says... She said she want diamonds, I took her to Ruby Tuesdays. If we up at Fridays, I still have it my way. It was like six different references to fast casual chains in North America. And I was like, I understood that reference. It's the height of musicality. The more fast casual dining chains you can weave into and out of a song, the more respect I have for you. That lyric took a long time in the kitchen. Probably longer than they cook anything or microwave it at Applebee's, I'll tell you that much. You know what I would love to see on this run now is uh, Hive Minds. I've often thought, and by often I mean literally once, just a second ago. We permanently gulped Holy Mantle here, by the way, which is decent. Uh, not Holy Mantle, but uh, Wooden Cross. So we get one Holy Mantle per floor. If you get strong enough, that's all you need. I was, did I actually finish what I was saying where I said I wanted Hive Mind? We had our ESPN moment right there. Thank you. And now we should be rolling. Let's do it. How his mouth was not open. Run the tape. His mouth was not open. I call BS on that. We're going all in on these deals. We're still probably too slow for boss rush. Dang it. Crack these. Crack these real quick. I've often thought there should be like an NLSS rap genius. You know, we make enough 
references that are comments that are references to other things, whether it's things that we've done or things that other, you know, media properties that have existed. There's a chance that it could it could be worthwhile. Drop a key, please. Please do not make that project unless you have literally nothing else to do. People are always like, not always, but they, they send me tweets and they're like, hey, I'm working on this thing. Do I have your permission? Sometimes they'll like, I'm making a game with you in it. Is that okay? And I say, dude, please, by all means, finish that game. First off, I support you as a creator. I'm not Nintendo. I'm not worried about you infringing on my brand. Unless the game has me doing something that's like incredibly morally objectionable or something like that, then I'd probably be like, hey, could you not? And I hope you would respect that. However, I'm also like, I don't expect these to ever come out. So if they do, you deserve to use my image. Because, first off, it's not like I'm doing anything with it. And secondly, that's amazing. You know how many people, you know, wash out when they're trying to make something? You did something, by all means, go nuts. But sometimes, <laughs> not to... Not to pull the curtain back, but there'll be conversations in the Skype group about like, Hey, did you guys get a message from this guy? He says he's making something. And one person or more will be like, I'm not giving him permission. And I'm like, that's your right, but... Honestly, I, I'm not saying you should necessarily, but I just think that you're paying a little too much mind to it. I would worry about it when it comes out. Best case scenario, it's sweet and it's good for them and also free marketing for us. Worst case scenario, then you just take permission away, I guess, but... But yeah, mostly I'm just flattered, for the most part. But please do not, uh, if you're busy, spend your time on you. That's, uh... I would I'm... I use my busyness to give me all sorts of excuses to not do things. I would hate for you to be in a different boat. What do we got here? Two of diamonds. Let's pop it. I don't think we're going to make it the boss rush, but I'm going to try. We're safe. Uh, I mean, maybe if we get rooms that are... No, I mean, it's 1940, dude. You're never going to make it. <laughs> Be realistic. I mean, it's 1958, and I'm like, well, if the next room teleports me to the deal with the devil and it has mom's knife in it, then there's still a chance. Probably not, huh? Even given, like, nearly ideal circumstances, yeah. But we're not so far off pace that we're not going to make the hush fight. Like, we're we're doing very well in that department. We need to go to the Blue Womb just so we can donate and actually take advantage of the Steam Sale now as well. Because we camped out on donations. Maybe I shouldn't have even taken Glaucoma, now that I think about it. Like, we, uh, we could have re-rolled it, but I guess maybe re-rolling a deal with the Devil is higher priority. It's been a while since we uh, did that value test. Especially if these are guppy items, which none of them are, so thankfully, problem solved. Oh no. I tried to kick it away, but it was not in time. No telepills, please. No telepills, no telepills. Speed up, I will take. Perthrow will hold. All right. Down to the next floor. You know we could have re-rolled uh, the Polaroid, actually. I think it's a bad idea, because permanent Polaroid invincibility is worth something, but... And we can probably find a way to enable it, but we could have re-rolled it. And at this point, I mean, the Guppy Dream does not exist, but we gotta continue uh, opening red chests, because teleportation deals with the devil, saves us a little time, maybe gives us a little extra pace. I don't remember how much HP we have. It might be one, it might be two. That's why I'm not going to play this Demon Judgment right now. We have the tools, I guess, is where I'm coming from. We could pretty easily beat the Hush, pretty easily beat Delirium. Um, as long as our HP holds. So, I don't really want to rock the boat, but I do want to get more cool stuff. Infestation 2 Jar of Flies uh, with Hive Mind is already pretty cool, in my opinion, at least. And even if this guy drops Shoop the Whoop, we're probably not going to take it because we get so much value out of uh, hive mind plus jar of flies. Luckily, we didn't have to worry about it. Yeah, I think we're gonna cruise here. We should go get that though. Ugh. We've been on a pretty good run lately after that slump. I'm feeling better about Isaac at least. You know, it's only gonna cost us one because of Holy Mantle, so let's give it a shot. Great, yeah, fantastic. It feels good to be okay at this game again, or at least 
to be getting items that make me feel not so bad about my performance. Nah, we don't need the golden key. We're not opening many doors on this floor, ideally. Uh, please. I am a moron. We might start to run into HP-related problems. We'd need a couple more floors as bad as this one, but... Oh, dude, this is like the ideal... room... for our exact combination of items. Looks like we got Mr. Fred. AKA, according to Book of Revelations, uh, one of the Horsemen of the Apocalypse. No, it's actually double dark one. Which is actually dark one plus adversary. I really thought he was going to brimstone me there, so lucky me. Please just walk into him. He's dead. Thank you. Wow. Okay. We sh probably should have rerolled Pageant Boy, but knowing we have a shop coming up, I'm like a little interested in the money and the luck. And this is good. No matter what, we're going to have a good chance at something we want here. And there we go. Lump of coal. Let's quickly check for... Uh you know what, we got 99 bombs, dude. <laughs> Let's quickly check for valuable cards or, you know, Dry Baby or something. Down to the next floor. 2321, please no Curse of the Unknown. I need this. HP is fine. We only had one HP, so we were right to not play... Whoops. We were right to not play a Demon Judgment. The Demon Judgment, sorry. Now we're switching our mind back into geek mode. As Nate Dog said, see, there's a good one for the NLSS rap genius. That's for a reference to uh, the line in Regulate, where NL said, or not NL, where um, Warren G says, no, Nate Dog says, I laid all them busters down. I let my gat explode. Now I'm switching my mind back into freak mode. If you want skirts, sit back and observe. I just left a gang of hoes over there on the curb. I don't like the way he refers to them as hoes, but it's a different culture. I understand. More I'm offended by the fact, as a Canadian, it, it makes me very uncomfortable that at the start of the song Regulate, or at least very early on, Nate Dog witnesses a car accident and just drives away. Like, you're supposed to hang out and see if they need witnesses or, like, if they need medical attention or something. I know the music video depicts a very, uh, kind of pedestrian crash. It's, it's not a, um, it's not something that happened at a high speed. Yet at the same time, you never know. You know injuries like uh, Whiplash, for example, it can happen at relatively low speeds. Help. Help me. In okay, we're alive again. And by alive, I mean like my brain is working for things other than just saying help over and over. You guys ever see Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit? I don't know why. I know why it popped into my brain. Because I was talking about how, you know, like in a car accident, injuries can be deceptive. Oh, I, yes, I will do it. We got actual brim plus little brim. That's pretty sweet, dude. No more spiders, but still. I'll st this is a fun reroll, at least. You know, Jack Ryan... In Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit, Chris Pine murders a man in a bathtub. Goes, I killed a man. Drowned him in about this much water. And he holds his hand up to, like, his knee. It lives. I don't know how that's relevant. <laughs> I guess it's, you know. Car accidents are deceptive. Just like Chris Pine being able to drown a man in just a little bit of water. Less water than you would expect for a man of that stature. So I think we're a little weaker than we uh, than we were before the reroll, but not by much. The loss of uh, Goathead, a little annoying, but what were we looking for with Goathead? Probably Brimstone, so I wouldn't worry about it so much. All right. Let's go. Sorry, that's me turning on cheat engine. Uh, what do we got here? We don't need keys, because apparently we have pay to play. We stomp? We cannot stomp. We do have uh, 99 mega bombs. Okay. Oh, 99 mega scatter bombs. There's something to be said. 
It's not a black market, but they are, um, whatever these bombs are called. We'll see in a millisecond. Sticky bomb. Pardon me, sticky bombs. We can hold two active items, by the way. Remember that. Is Are the items here worth picking up? 50-50. We definitely want sack of sacks. I'll be honest, you probably want to buy the spirit heart. This is the right floor to use Perthrow on, because we're probably heading straight down to the Delirium floor anyway. Um, sure, I mean, both Ghost Pepper and the Cancer item are okay, but Cancer's a better item here. I think... We'll just buy this, just to have it, basically. We're not doing anything else with the money. We'll try a reroll right here. It's not great, but Bob's Curse does give us some value, at least. And then we'll finally check this. Some pills. Gulp that for a resurrection. We got balls of steel. Not bad. Not bad. So straight up. Bombs are our friend here. On this fight in particular, it would be nice to have homing bombs so we could just get in there. I'm just trying to see if there's like anything else uh, of particular relevancy for us in our item pod over there. And I don't see anything. But... It doesn't mean it isn't there. Straight up. Bomb this dude at every available opportunity. You only exist at this point as a means to an end. You're not telling me the addicted pill lasted into that room, are you? Did we two take two spirit arts of damage right there? No, we... Okay, that time we only took a half, but that's because of the cancer item. Um, wow, these dodges. I think we only lost one, and the problem was actually that my brain broke. Where are these flies coming from? Maybe the mo... No. Infestation? One, I guess? I don't know why I said it like... Adam Sandler in a movie that he wrote, directed, and starred in. Please. Oh. At this point, my brain is commentary deficient for fighting the hush. <laughs> I need to, what we should do is make like an app. You just click a button and it gives you a, a, a hush topic to discuss during this 45 minute boss fight. Hey, did you see little reviews for Justice League came in? I don't want to talk about that. People get angry. Very attached. I think it's clear if you watch the show for a long time. I've said some... Uh, Pretty negative stuff about DC Extended Universe. But I'm also not a comic super fan. So you can catch me, you know, somewhere in the middle. I like the Marvel movies. I'm very much a casual fan. And I think they're just good movies to begin with. Of the DC movies, I've only seen Batman vs. Superman. I did not like it at all. Actually, that's not true. I saw Wonder Woman and I said Wonder Woman is pretty good. I had a good time uh, watching that movie. Justice League just came out. I hear it is okay. And I'm kind of happy. At least it's not an abject disaster. I don't want it to be bad. I got no horse in the Marvel vs. DC race. I'm happy that perhaps some fans of the universe will be able to enjoy the film. I have not seen Suicide Squad. The real reason for that is because people who were very excited for that movie later told me... It was a, just a train wreck. And that doesn't happen that often. You, if a movie's like just a little bad, you see the comments online and it's like, well, the reviewers are paid by Marvel to dislike it. Suicide Squad, people were like, this is what happened. And as a result, I chose to stay. And if you like it, that's okay. All right? I know I said I don't want to talk about it. I proceeded to just talk about it. You get the idea. 
I've got to see Deadpool 2 because it's filmed in and around Vancouver again. It's a good opportunity for me to see my city not playing itself, but that's okay. The only other time you see Vancouver in media is when people are pretending it's in, like, New Jersey. Or on CW superhero shows, like Arrow. Or in K-pop music videos. It's the only time. I'm begging you to please let me finish this run. You, have, you can't defeat me. I have more than half of my HP left. You have, like, half a sliver left. You got a sliver. Don't go that way. That's a terrible dodge. Please, sir! I want you to pop up like an Indian restaurant in London that sells gluten-free masala dosa. I want you to be a pop-up. Like a music video on VH1. I want you to pop up like a book of dinosaur anatomy in a 4th grade classroom. I need you to pop up! You see, a pop-up restaurant is a uh, kind of informally run, temporary establishment that, that sells food. We have done it. Oh, God. Okay, so we're not in a good spot. But I actually think that on this run, and I might be incorrect here, I feel like Hush might be harder than Delirium on this run. I'm mostly saying that because we're going down to the Delirium floor now, but I'm, you know, wishful thinking. All right, Devoid. We definitely want the dog tooth. Dad's key does not very much for us. Not worth it with Brimstone, unfortunately. We really should be using money for this. Wow, that turned out pretty badly. Um, because we get the double play that makes things a little dicey. Uh, as a result of... This room is so good. As a result of uh, scatter bombs, I mean to suggest. Why is this room so good? For the exact thing you're seeing right now. Myriad... Spirit hearts available here. Almost enough to make up for our complete loss of... Fine motor control during the hush fight. Thank you. So the bean is still terrible. Don't be distracted by the fact that I now have a spacebar item. It's still pretty bad. There are times in the game where it's uh, a little bit more warranted. I would say that those times are not the delirium floor. I would say first floor on an Eden run. That's really like your ideal experience. With two luck upgrades, we may indeed choose to play the... Uh, is that a large chest? <laughs> Ahead. That was weird. Um, it's a little reference to the 2011 game Dark Souls. By the way, I know many of you are now going, Dark Souls didn't come out in 2011, it came out in- GO CHECK! This is a great room, dude. Go check it right now! Oh, wait! Have you returned? When did it say? When did Wikipedia say it came out? I would love to know. Just just for reasons. Was it 2011? It's another Balls of Steel. This could be Delirium. It's not. It's better this way, although I think we could have a chance to kill Delirium regardless, so... I really want to up our damage. That's not really helping. <laughs> we already have 70 bombs, but sure, Mr. Boom, why not? Boom, 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 boom. His name is Mr. Boom. He will be on this run together. He recharges from the nether. You gotta sneak in a rhyme there that says, you know, he charges in two rooms. I can't, it, it's not coming to mind right now, though. The song uh, machine is broken. Understandable, have a good day. Reference to the 2016 meme. No. Dude, Poke Go is actually killing it for us here, and I gave it no attention whatsoever. 
some very good stuff happening as a result of Poke Go. Be destroyed? Yeah, okay, this is pretty good. Sack Dagger. If only we could find a productive way to enable some... We can already fly. But if only we could find a productive way to enable some invincibility. Hmm. Prefer Balls of Steel. <laughs> Streamer said he'd prefer balls. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Waiting is over. Which is good, because apparently it's the hardest part. Sack Dagger Guillotine is a little weird. It's like a Fruitopia commercial from the early 2000s, as a reference to the Canadian... Is Fruitopia a Canadian beverage? It seems like the kind of thing... Maybe it's European. You have Fruitopia in the United States of America? It's like glorified juice that you drink when you're a kid, because you're like, at least it's not soda, but it's really just basically soda. Map. Not necessarily good or bad. Just hold up, hold up, there you go. Daddy Long Legs, I was 100% convinced the fires of delirium would exist in this room. Come on, dude. I mean, you're being a little outrageous here. Uh, sure, Holy Light, which is actually just nothing for us, I think. You know one of these is going to be Delirium. So as much as it's not very me, maybe it's not, but uh, as much as it's not very me, I have to go back and pick up a Balls of Steel. Because we need it. I wish it weren't so, like Eagle Eye Cherry and Save Tonight. That one's on the house. Not the 2017 film starring Will Ferrell, Amy Poehler, Jason Manzukis. Um, which I hear is awful. Just awful. Delirium. See, this is why... Good, good. You got a little farty there? That's what you gotta do if you wanna win in this business. You gotta stay farty. We're not doing very much damage. But we have an advantage. And the ad oh my god, okay, maybe we don't have an advantage. The advantage is we have the cancer item. Which means that we're going to take a half a heart instead of a full heart every time we get hit. I think if we just abuse the fact that even though we want to be using Sack Dagger, we can't. And instead fire in Brimstone and Little Brimstone shots. We're going to be relatively happy with the way things go here. How? Hello. Well, the good news about being telefragged is that we do get a chance to drop in our uh, our bombs. We're looking good, but this is going to take a long time. And that's okay. I, I think we have... You know what's given us flies? And I, I am a little upset with myself for being too boneheaded to realize it uh, until now. The thing that's going to give us flies is the Beelzebub transformation. Still doing fine. Not well, but fine. Like, you're you're performing to an adequate level to survive. And the question of, like, what do you get for beating this run? I do not remember. But we're looking fairly set now. Yeah, maybe a fairly heavy set. What are you, 100 years old? Nobody uses the term heavy set now unless you were born in like pre 1950s good keep the rotation up here you got a good rotation you do a little half circle to the left you do a little half circle to the right 
can't be hit. Okay, I wish you would stop telefragging me. I'm not good. Maybe it isn't a telefrag, but it felt like a telefrag, okay? Pretty sure we're just rolling out the clock here. My favorite Steely Dan song. Are you rolling out the clock? And sucking away the time. And do you like to suck my... Wait a minute, you can't say that on YouTube. Have you had a look at mine? It's an Austin joke. If Austin was here, he'd laugh. He'd chuckle. Or he'd say, dial in, dial in. Which is also probably appropriate given the time that it took place in a Battlegrounds episode. Hey, we lived. Easily, actually. And it was mostly due to the cancer item, to be, like, real with you. So what did we unlock? Shade. That's not worth it, dude. Also has nothing like what the item actually looks like, but hey. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. I've said a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.